We all know Project Zomboid has a few areas that could be improved when it comes to missing item interactions, UI functionality, or to give players a better understanding of what is happening in game. Luckily, the modding community has blessed us with some great mods that improve the gameplay experience, whether you are a seasoned veteran or brand new to Project Zomboid. Here are a handful of mods that improve the Zomboid experience. First, let's start in the Trait Selection screen with the More Description for Traits mod by Champy. This adds the actual effects that a certain trait will have on your character when you are in the Trait Selection screen and when you look at your character's info screen in-game. You no longer need to guess what the vague base game description means, you have all of it spelled out for you with this mod. Not only does this work for vanilla traits, but it also works with most other trait mods as well. Now that we've selected our character and are loading into game, let's take a look at some UI mods. Maximum Display Bars by Dr. Lalos is absolutely great for new players. It shows the level of your player's current stats like hunger, thirst, food nutrients, and fatigue. You can customize the layout of these as well to suit your desired level of insight into your character's stats. Now, this may be controversial as this uncovers the normally hidden mechanics of your character's current stats, but I still enjoy playing with it and it helps you focus on the other aspects of Zomboid rather than always worrying about when that fatigue debuff will kick in. And like I said, great for new players that don't fully understand how the character systems work in their entirety. Now, the next three mods I have grouped into a single section here because they all focus on reordering things in the UI, and they are, ironically, all made by the same person. We have Reorder Containers, Reorder the Hotbar, and Backpack Borders, all by Knotlock. Reorder Containers allows you to change the order of containers by dragging and dropping them in the inventory. You can also rearrange the containers in the loot window if you have it enabled. Reordering the hotbar can be done the same way and you can click on the items in the hotbar to select them instead of using the hotkeys. And Backpack Borders adds borders around the containers in the inventory and looting windows to help see the darker colored bags and backpacks these are absolutely stellar mods, and I've gotten so used to playing with them that it's very hard for me to play vanilla anymore without these three. Next, we have Clear Descriptions for Moodles by Chillax. This displays the positive and negative effects of Moodles when you hover over them in the Game HUD or on your Character Info Panel. The description is updated with further detail, like telling you damage reductions or disabling certain types of movement. Another mod is Nested Containers by Soyeth, and this allows you to see the contents of a container while it is inside of another container. You can also transfer items between two containers without moving them to your inventory or needing to remove them from a container and placing one on the ground or in your inventory. For example, you can see the contents of a duffel bag inside of a car trunk or see what's inside of a first aid kit inside of your backpack moving items in and out without needing to equip the first aid kit, saving a lot of time by making item sorting more streamlined. Now let's take a look at some of the in-game systems that, in my opinion, are the most underrated mods on this entire list. To start, we have Common Sense by Braven. Some of the features for this mod include crowbars can now pry open doors, windows, and vehicles, Canned food can be opened with more items than just a can opener. Flashlights can attach to your belt. Color indications on vehicle parts show their condition, and so much more. This is an absolutely great mod made by one of the best modders in the Zomboid community. He has made a bunch of great mods for the game, so I highly recommend checking them out in the workshop. Next, we have Better Sorting by Chobits Crazy. This one overhauls the item categories in-game, giving them better descriptions than in vanilla. It breaks the larger categories down into smaller ones, like splitting food into beverages, perishables, and non-perishables, also categorizing clothing based on where it is worn. This is another one that is extremely hard to play Zomboid without once you use it for the first time. 
I never realized how much I rely on the perishable tag on items to make sure I eat that food first before it goes bad. And the third one in this group is Better Hand Wash by Sunny Hollock. This balances the amount of water needed to wash clothes by hand, basing the amount on how much dirt and blood are actually on the clothes. Before this mod, it would take 10 units of water for any piece of clothing, no matter how dirty or bloody, to wash it. This is a great addition that adds a little bit of realism back into the game. Because washing socks and washing a shirt should not theoretically use the same amount of water. Now we've come to the map mod section. Again, this is a group of mods that in some way improve the in-game map. First, we have Map Legend UI by Nick Gamer. This adds what type of building the colors represent in the map. There's extra map symbols by Lex and Wipe. This adds a large amount of map symbols in the style of the base game, along with the ability to change the size of the symbols and some other map UI tweaks. There's Darker Map by Lightya, which basically adds a dark mode for the in-game map. More Maps by Champy adds lootable map items for over 120 modded maps and balances the spawn chances of all map items. This is a definitely must subscribe to a mod if you ever play with any modded maps on your playthroughs. And the final is Draw on the Map, again by Notlock. This adds free hand drawing to the in-game map where you can customize the thickness of line and even draw lines of symbols. With all of these, I find myself using the map way more than I used to, even using it to draw out base plans or looting runs. Now, all of these mods are great additions to your Project Zomboid mod list, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate all of your support, and good luck in your next trip through Nox Country.